see so many people here today on oh, what's a really nice day outside. We have a fun lesson for you today. We're going to be talking about lesson three, uh, rebids by opener and responder. Before we dig in, as luck would have it, I have a joke for you. <laughs> fellow walks into a bar, sits down, and uh, the fellow next to him says, I'll have Superman. Guy looks over and says, Superman, what's that? Well, let me show you. So the bartender brings the fellow a drink, and he drinks it down. Goes outside, climbs <coughs> up to the roof, jumps off the roof, floats back up to the roof. The guy says, oh my gosh, that's amazing, i got to try that. So the guy says, I'm going to have a Superman. The bartender pours him a drink. Mm -hmm. Drinks the drink, walks up to the roof, mm -hmm. jumps off. What? Splat. <laughs> and um, Bartender turns to the first fellow and says, Superman, you sure are a mean drunk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'll explain it to you later, Paul. <laughs> All right, uh, just a reminder, we're being videotaped today, so no one can see you, but if you ask a question, then we will hear, have your voice on the tape. Now, how many of y'all were not here last week? Oh, my goodness. Oh, hi, Paul. <laughs> All right. Well, for their benefit and their benefit only, we're going to do a little bit of review. Good. All right. I have opened one spade. What do you know about my hand? You have five. Okay, I've got at least five spades. So what else? 13 points. points. Maybe. 12 to 19 or so points. Okay, so I have an opening hand with five spades. I open one diamond. What do you know about my hand? Nine, 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 four, diamond. Okay. <laughs> okay, same thing. I have an opening hand. 12 to 19 points. When I open one of a suit, 12 to 19 points. Could be 11, could be a shapely 11, but we'll call it 12. Okay, 12 to 19 points. And when I open a diamond, I couldn't open a no trump, and I couldn't open one of a major. Okay, and my diamonds are at least as long as my clubs. Okay, I tend to have four diamonds. Could have more. The only time I'm going to have three diamonds, actually, who can tell me this? When is the only holding I'm going to have that has three diamonds? When he has two clubs. Okay, when I have two clubs and three diamonds and four four. four, four, four in the majors. That's the only time I'm gonna open one diamond on a three card suit. Okay. Questions so far? All right, I open <laughs> one diamond, the next person passes, and the next person passes all night long. And my partner says, one no trump. What do I know about his hand? Six points. Okay. He has defined his range. Anytime I bid no trump or bid a suit that's been bid before, I'm defining my range. Now, this particular range is 6 to 10, shows a minimum hand. If I bid two no trump, that'll be 11 or 12. Okay, and if I bid three no trump, I've got 13 to 15 points. Now, each one of those bids denies a four-card major. Okay, because if I have this hand, and this will be a good time for a review. We're going to have a conversation about our bridge hands. So we're going to describe our hands to each other and we're trying to find out two things. Okay. The first thing is, do we have enough points to fulfill a game contract? Game contracts are three no trump or four of a major. Five of a minor is also a game contract, but we don't tend to look to play in that. Okay. The second thing we're going to try to figure out is do we have, between the two of us, eight cards in a major suit? Okay. So if I have five and you have three, we have an eight-card fit. If we have eight, then that means the opponents only have five. That tends to be a trump suit where we can expect to take at least one more trick 
playing in that suit than we could in no Trump. Okay. Now, there's one other rule that we need to think about. I need to keep bidding until I am certain that our side does not have enough points per game. I need to keep bidding until I am certain that our side does not have enough points per game. Okay, and the only time I'm going to know that is when my partner has limited his hand. Questions, comments? So let's look at this fine hand. How many high card points? Nine. I've got a nine count. Um, my partner's open a diamond. The next person's passed. My bid with this hand is? One heart. One heart. I've got a four card major. Okay, do we have enough points for game? Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Okay, when I change suits, I'm promising you a minimum amount worth of stuff. Changing suits at the one level is six points. So I've got at least six points, and I've got at least four hearts. Now I'm going to make a change. How many high card points? Thirteen. Do we have enough points for game? Yes. We do. Okay, so what do I bid with this hand? One heart. Okay? See, I already know we have enough points for game. I will not let the bidding die until we get to game, but all I need to do on my first bid, first bids are about shape. Partner, I have at least six points and at least four hearts. Bid something. And when my partner bids something other than pass, I'm going to put us in a game contract, depending on whether we have an eight-card major suit fit or not. Does that make some sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions? So not time to beat your chest here. No, no. This is this is a this isn't a deal with me bit. This is a please come into our auction if you care because I enjoy punishing people that come into our auctions when we both have opening hands. No, I'm going slow because we have a game going hand. I'm just trying to figure out where we belong. Good question. Other questions? All right. Now, today we are going to talk about what happens after this auction. I open a diamond, the next person passes because it's what they do this week, and my partner bids a spade, and the next person passes because that's what he does this week. So one diamond pass, one spade pass. First of all, do we have enough points for game? Let's say this is my hand. Oh my goodness, what a hand that is. Okay, how many high card points? Eleven. Do we have enough points for game? Probably. Don't know. Don't know. And because I don't know, am I allowed to pass? No. 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 Because my partner has not limited his hand. Okay, my partner has not limited his hand, so I am not allowed to pass. Wait, because he didn't do no trump. Which would bid the limit, right? He, uh, there are two ways I can limit my hand. I can limit my hand by bidding a suit that's already been bid, or I can limit my hand by bidding no trump. So let's look at this hand. One diamond pass, two diamonds. Has my partner limited his hand? Yes. 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 Do we have any interest in game? No. Yes. Game would be what? Five diamonds. Five, 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 sorry, five diamonds, yeah. and my partner has six to ten points? Yeah. Well, I guess 
if he had exactly, and I mean exactly, the right six to ten points. And when I say exactly, I'm talking about the, gosh, the ace of clubs, the king of diamonds, and the king of hearts. If he had those three specific cards, yeah, I'd like our chances in a game contract. I'm going to let you in on a secret. It's one that I've learned over many, many years. Your partner will never have exactly the three cards you need him to have. Okay? So while every once in a while you may be able to fulfill a game contract, realistically, you don't have an interest in a game contract. Okay? If you don't have interest in a game contract and you're in a excuse me, a good fit, you have a great way to describe your hand to your partner. Pass. 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 Pass expresses that. Partner, we're in a good fit. Don't have any interest in game. Wish me luck. And if the opponents get into the auction, then I may take another bid. Uh, but here, I can pass with a clear conscience. Does that make some sense? We but then do, you pay, then do you play the game if it's not a game contract? Oh, yes. Any time. Okay, th this, is, this is bridge. You deal them out, and you bet them. And after you bet them, what do you do? Play you play them. Okay? Now, if, you, if, you're sitting at the, if you're sitting at your kitchen table, by all means, you know, my name's Ed Kinlaw. I don't play any contract that isn't a game contract. Okay? <laughs> If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But yeah, here we're you you deal them, you bid them, and you and you play them. We even play one level contracts. Okay. Other questions. All right. So, I am opener. I'm going to segregate my hands into three categories. Okay. I've got minimum hands. I've got invitational hands and I've got game going hands. And these are all predicated on my partner showing a six count. Okay, my partner, one diamond pass, one spade, what does my partner have? Six to nine. He's got at least six. He could have six to 30, he could have a 14 count, I don't know, but he's got at least six. Don't, don't want you to bid unless you got six. So you got six, okay? So I'm gonna segregate my hand into three categories. Minimum, I'm going to call 12 to 15. Invitational, 16 to 18, and 19 plus. I have a 19 count. My partner has a 6 count. Sounds like 25. And how many do we need for game? 25. So to game we go. Okay, so three separate hands. Minimum, invitational, game going. Now. This is the most important part of this lesson. Okay? If you have a minimum hand, you need to bid it as though you have a minimum hand. Okay? I know it sounds simple, but still, if you got a minimum hand, you need to bid it to as though you have a minimum hand. Now, I can make any bid through two of the suit that I opened, or I can raise your suit and not promise more than a minimum. Okay? So I opened. Uh, Ed, could you say that first one again? Yes. <laughs> the first one, what I can bid? Yeah. Okay. I've opened one dime and my partner's bid one spade. Okay. I can make any bid through two of the suit that I open, or I can raise my partner's suit and not promise more than a minimum hand. Okay, so those bids are one no, two diamonds, two spades. Okay, these three bids, absolutely positively every single time, I have a minimum hand. Raising your suit cheaply, rebidding my suit cheaply, or bidding no trump cheaply. Code for, I have a minimum hand. I do not have more than what I promised. I may only have a 12 count. 
Could have more than a 12 count, but I'm not promising you more than a 12 count. Okay. Now there's one other bid that goes be that's between uh, one diamond and two diamonds, and that bid is two clubs. Okay. So I could bid two clubs and not promise more than a minimum. So I've got this hand. Actually, the hand I put up there before. One diamond pass, one spade. Pass. And I say, huh. I can't pass. I don't have a particularly good hand. If only there were a bid I could make that doesn't get my partner excited and describes my hand. Because if you have an 11 count, you really, really don't want your partner all that excited. Unless he has good reason. Okay? Now with this particular hand, I already bid diamonds. Okay? I can choose any of these bids with this 12 count. And when I say 12 count, just for people who actually count. I'm going to put a king up there. Okay? So, I've got a 12 count. I only have four allowable bids. Okay? One no trump, two diamonds, two spades, or two clubs. Okay? Any thoughts on this particular hand that has five diamonds and five clubs? Two clubs. And then you say, how does my, if I'm bidding clubs, how does my partner know that I really have diamonds? Okay? Because I hear this question. How do, I haven't really bid diamonds yet because all I did is open a diamond. Okay? Now my partner will, what's the word I'm looking for? Think. He'll think to himself, okay, my partner opened a diamond and I bid a spade and then he bid two clubs. Well, he bid clubs, so he must have clubs. He's got to have at least four of them, but he didn't open a club. He opened a diamond. Aha! So he really has clubs and he really has diamonds. He has an unbalanced hand with diamonds and clubs. Okay, does that make some sense? And doesn't promise more than this, more than this minimum opening hand. Now I'm going to make a change. Hmm. Still 12 points. So do I have a minimum hand? Yes. Can I pass? No, because my partner's changed suits. So, of these bids up here, which is the best description of this hand? All right. Now, I'm going to make a change. And here's a good guideline for you. Okay. How many high card points? I've got a 16 count. How do I open this fine hand? I open up one no trump. Okay, I don't have no voids, no singletons, not more than one doubleton. If you have a handshake that would have opened one no trump if it were big enough, okay, your rebid will tend to be one no trump if you don't have a fit for your partner. Okay? So take this <laughs> ace away and turn it into an itty bitty. Okay? Diamond, spade, no trump. Partner, I've got no trump shape. Okay, but I wasn't big enough to open a no trump. Now, there's one thing I should have led with. Okay, and you'll see this in movies on occasion. You know, next time lead with this. Okay, start start by saying this. One diamond pass, one spade. How many spades does your partner have? Four. He's got four. If you also have four spades. Your next bid will be some number of spades. Tell your partner you have a fit. Okay, so the first bid, if I've got four of your spades, is going to be some number of spades. Now, let's 
Let's see. Who, 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 excuse me, why would you the, uh, choose spades? Three o'clock. I mean, that's a minimal number to have. Um, I don't understand how you can raise the spade. Oh, I'm not. I'm not bidding. I'm not a good question. Thank you. I'm not raising spades with this hand because I like my partner. And to look at my partner now and say, partner, I'm not going to raise your spades with too small unless you, like, have really irritated me <laughs> or have opened three up. Okay? So let's change it to this. All right. How many high card points? Oh, well, yuck. But you that, that's a rotten opening hand. Is it an opening hand? Yeah, it's 12 points. Yeah, I'm going to open it. I don't have to be proud of all my openers. So I'm going to open this hand diamond. My partner says a spade. My bid here is two spades. Partner, we got a fit. All I have, I don't have necessarily any more than what I promised. I could have a 14 count and be balanced and bid two spades. Now, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I don't wait, know, wait. I don't know why you opened. You, I thought you had to have at least four <coughs> cards to open. You were the opener in a minor. Yep. And you have three. Yes, and, and this is a good time for review. The first thing I do when I look at a hand is say, is this an opening hand? Okay, with this particular hand, I'd say, I've got 12 points. Okay, 12 points I'm going to open it unless there's a really good reason not to open it. I've got 12 points. I've got eight cards on my two longest suits. I've got two and a half quick tricks. It's not a great opening hand, but it's an opening hand. And then after I figure out this is an opening hand, I say, how do I open it? Can I open a major? No, because I don't have five of them. Can I open no trump? No, because I'm not big enough. You can't open no trump. You can't open a major. What's left? A minor. You open your longest one. Okay, so here I'd open one dime. Okay. So it doesn't require four. It do, I usually have four, but I don't require four. When I open one of a minor, couldn't open a major, couldn't open no trump, my diamonds, or my, this minor is at least as long as the other. Okay. Could I just pass? Yes. I could. If I looked at this hand and said, you know, this is beneath my standards, I'm going to wait for their developments. I could pass. This is America. You are not forced to open hands that other people might open. It's what makes this a great game. Okay. But 13 points is mandatory, isn't it? 13 points. Yeah, any ugly 13 count I'm going to tend to open. E even if it's queens and jacks, if I got a 13 count, I'm opening it. All right, so now I'm going to make a change. How many high card points? 17. I've got 19 count. Okay, I open a dime and my partner says a spade. Is life good? Yeah. Life is good. Now I'm going to make a change. I'm going to make this better. Before you do that. Before I do that, well, it's too late. I've already started the race. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Why would you have opened with um, a diamond? Because you can't. Um, open a well, let's go through my checklist. Can I open a major? No. No. No, I don't have a five for a major. Can I open no trump? No. No. Because one no trump is a very specific bid. When I play with my partner, I anticipate they're going to do something we like to call math. Okay? So when I open a no trump, partner, I got 15 to 17 points. No more, no less. So if I have some number other than that, I'm not going to open a no trump. Okay? So if I can't open no trump and I can't open a major, I'm going to open my longest minor, which here is a diamond. Now, Getting to the question of the day. I've opened this hand of diamond and my partner says a spade. What do you think? 
Do we have enough points for game? So we do have enough points for game. Do we have an eight card fit? So we have enough points for game and we have an eight card fit. If only there were a bid I could make that told my partner, partner, we have enough points for game in spades and we have enough points for game and we have an eight card fit in spades. Four spades expresses that excellently. I can actually write that down. Okay? Four spades. One diamond pass, one spade. Pass four spades. By the way, this is not... Remember a couple weeks ago we talked about the five, uh, five card piece of crud hand with the side suit singleton? This thing. Okay, four points, five spades, one spade pass. And I said, you can bid four spades with this. It's a very specific bid that says, I don't know what we can make, but if we can't make four spades, they might be able to make something. Okay, well, that's a very different situation than one dime and one spade, four spades. Okay, one dime and one spade, four spades says, partner, you told me that you had four spades and six points. And if that's all you have, we have enough points for game and we have an eight card spade fit. So you're bringing four spades and six points to the party, I'm bringing the rest. Does that make some sense? Any questions? How many points do you need for two no trump? <laughs> okay, we'll work this in reverse. We're going to talk, though, his question was how many points you need for two no trump. I'm going to introduce you to something called the no trump ladder. And the first two parts you can fill out pretty simply. I've got 15 to 17 points. How do I, and balanced, how do I describe this hand as an opener? One no trump. Okay. Now I've got 20 to 21 and balance. How do I describe this hand? Two no trump. So I've got two ranges that I cannot show on my opening bid. The first is 12 to 14. The second is 18 to 19. Okay, We've already talked about the 12 to 14. That's one of a minor pass, one of a major pass, one no. Okay. I open, you bid at the one level, I bid one no trump. Partner, I'm balanced, I don't have four of your major, and I wasn't big enough to open a no trump. I got 12 to 14 points. Now, two no trumps going to be the same thing. I open a minor, my partner bids a major, and now I jump to two no trump. Okay? When I jump to two no trump, conceptually, Partner, I was too big to open one no. I wasn't big enough to open two no. And by the way, I don't have four of your major. Because if I had four of your major, my first response would have been raising your major instead of rebidding two no trump. Does that make some sense? Any questions? Is that only? Yes, ma'am. Is that only after your partner bids a major? No, it, it could also go club pass, diamond pass, two no. But okay. when I open a minor, what does what do your partners tend to bid when you open a minor? A major. So I just put that up for okay. illustrative purposes. But can we assume that an open on his second bid? If it's two no means 18 and 19 points. If partner has responded, yes. Okay, because partner's showing six. And again, with 19, I tend to want to be in game, opposite the six count. However, I'm going to tell you something important. 
I do that a lot. If I've got 13 points and you have 12 points, we've got all kinds of transportation between the two sides. Okay, if I have 19 points and you have six points, it's gonna be a lot tougher for me to get to your hand, to lead up to my hand. So 12 opposite 13 plays a lot better than 19 opposite six. Doesn't mean I don't wanna be there, just means I might have more difficulty playing the hand. Yes, ma'am. Over that, um, again about the 18 to 19 points. Sure. Um, it conceptually, I open a no trump, 15 to 17. I open two no trump, 20 to 21. I open, you respond, and I jump to two no trump. I was too big to open one no, not big enough to open two no. So one diamond pass, one fade pass, two no. Okay, one of a minor pass, one of a major pass, two no. Okay. Questions, comments? Yeah. So let's look at game going hands. Okay? I wrote this one up here first. Diamond spade, four spades says I want to be in game and we have a fifth. Who can give me another bid that I could make that says, partner, I absolutely positively every single time want to be in game? Three spades. Three spades would actually fit on the invitational hand. Okay. Diamond spade, two spades is minimum. Diamond spade, three spades is invitational. Diamond spade, four spades is, I want to be in game. So three spades is invitational. And a good guideline, any time I bid a suit that's already been bid, I've limited my hand. Okay. Any time I bid a suit that's already been bid, it's just like bidding no trump, I've limited my hand. If I'm bidding that suit at one below game, it shows an invitational hand. If I'm bidding that hand cheaply, it shows a minimum hand in general. Okay. Well, I've got one. It's called a jump shift. Now, who here hasn't played bridge for a while? Okay. So I am jumping. I'm doing a jump shift. And I'm being extra special fancy. I'm going to throw this out. I'm doing a jump shift. How are you going to know that I did a jump shift? What would that look like? Well, it would be changing suits. I would be shifting. And what's the other part? Jumping. Okay. On occasion, there will be a bridge convention where the actual action you do describes the name of the convention. So a jump shift, I'm jumping and shifting. So one dime and one spade pass three clubs. Partner, I really have diamonds, I really have clubs, and I really want to be in game opposite any six-point piece of crud you have. Now, this is not a very common jump shift. A much more common jump shift is going to be one spade, pass, one no, pass, three hearts, where I'm bringing a major into the picture, or two majors into the picture here, or... One heart, pass, one spade, pass, three diamonds. Okay? Jumping and shifting. Partner, I really have the two suits that I'm bidding, and I want to be in game. So I tend to have five of each of them. I tend to have a 19 to 20 count. Okay? I've got pictures looking back at me in both of my suits. I tend to have some shortness, because if I've got two five-card suits, by definition, i got some shortness somewhere. Okay? So a jump shift, one diamond, one spade, three clubs, is going to look something like this. Is that forcing? Uh, yes, because if I told you, if I told you I wanted to be in game, then I don't want to hear pass out of your mouth until we get to game. So yes, we, we, when I say... Partner, I want to be in game. 
That's code for don't stop bidding until we're in a game contract. Yes, ma'am. Can I assume that any jump shift is a, an invitation to games? No, no, no. A jump shift is not an invitation to game. A jump shift is a guilt-edged, we're going to game bid. It's not, I'm inviting you to game. It's not, if you have more than six points, I want to be in game. It's, I want to be in game. I want to be in game. Pass. <laughs> During the game contract. So, diamond, spade, three clubs is going to look something like this. Oh my goodness, what a good hand. I've got a full threaded 20 count. With five diamonds and five clubs. Oh, I didn't. My partner. And when you open this hand, what is your partner going to bid every single time? A spade. Who knew? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, before, when you had a minimum hand, uh, you were allowed to say two clubs, even though that wasn't what you bid and it wasn't what your partner bid, because it was a lower... Yep. suit then you open yep so the fact that this is a lower suit than you open doesn't matter correct because I'm jumping here I'm jumping I'm not bidding two clubs which I can do on a minimum hand I'm jumping which says absolutely positively want to be in game so the fact that it's clubs which is lower than your original diamonds doesn't Plan at all. No, because I'm still jumping. Okay. I know, but you're downshifting. Well, I'm downshifting. And again, I'm always going to open. If I've got two five card suits, I'm always going to open my higher ranking one. Okay, because there's a couple of things we're trying to figure out. And my opening bid is about shape. So I open a diamond, partner, my diamonds are at least as long as my clubs. Okay, diamond, spade, three clubs. Partner, I want to be in game. My diamonds are still at least as long as my clubs. And with that hand, you wouldn't have opened like two no trumps? Well, I got this itty bitty spade, and I'm not balanced. I, I'm going to yeah. tend to treat my balanced hands like they're balanced, and they're unbalanced hands like they're unbalanced. Now, I got to tell you, I occasionally play against players that will open hands like this two no trumps. I really enjoy playing against such players. Okay? Now, this is a jump shift. I'm going to make a change. All right. How many high card points? 13. 13. I open this hand of diamond. My partner says a spade. My next bid is? Two diamonds. Two diamonds. Now, I do not, and it, this, I do not need to bid diamonds again on this hand. I already told my partner I had diamonds. Okay? If I tell my partner that I have clubs, he will know that I have diamonds. Okay, because I opened a diamond. So if I open a diamond and rebid and rebid clubs, I got them both. And my diamonds are at least as long as my clubs. Okay, so with this hand, I would bid two clubs. Now, I'm going to make a change. Because I can. No, 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 no. How many high card points? 17. I have a 17 count. Does this sound like a minimum hand, invitational hand, or a game going hand? Invitation. Invitational hand. Okay. I open a diamond, my partner set a spade, and it's my bid. This is not intuitive. I'm going to give it to you. Your bid is two clubs. Because diamond, spade, three clubs is I absolutely positively want to be in game opposite any six-point piece of crud you bid with. Okay? 
So diamond, spade, two clubs is I do not have enough to be in game ops at any six point piece of crud you bid with. I could have a minimum or I could have an invitational hand. I've limited my hand, but I've got a wide, wide range. All you know about my hand is I don't want to be in game opposite a six count. That makes some sense? Because if I because if I wanted to be in game, what would I have bid? I would have done one of those jump ship thingies. That would have been three clubs. Okay, was there a question? I don't understand why you wouldn't have rebid your diamonds instead, as strong as they are. Oh, because I've got two suits. Not really. <laughs> Oh, I got a ace, ten, fifth. Yeah, that's really a suit. And if my partner has four itty bitty clubs and one itty bitty diamond, where do I want to play this in? I want to play it in clubs. Okay, because I'm still not going to lose any diamonds playing in a club contract, and the diamonds will come in handy if we're playing in a club contract. Okay, so if you got two suits, mentioning your second suit tends to be a good thing. Invite your partner to the party and let him help you get to the right contract. Yes, ma'am. What would be the best fit for him to respond? Okay, you say three clubs, then what would you love him to have to respond to you? Eight spades. <laughs> Eight spades. <laughs> Diamond spade, two clubs. Four spades. That way I get to lay my hand down and my partner can play the hand. Actually, with this hand, I'd be bidding more than four spades. But yeah, I, um, if you have an eight card fit and you're not no trumpy, then playing in any eight card fit you got tends to be a good denomination. Okay, even if it's a minor. If it's a minor, I will see if no trump is a possible landing spot. But anytime we have an eight card fit in a major, we're playing in that major. Questions, comments? Yes, ma'am. If you didn't have that long club suit, would you rebid your diamonds? Uh, it depends. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what happened to rebid your diamonds so they know they're real. Oh, look, any time I bid and rebid a suit, I tend to have six off. There are going to be exceptions, but they are rare. Okay, any time I bid and rebid a suit, I'm going to tend to have six of them. Even if it's diamonds. Even if it's diamonds. So a two diamond bid. One diamond, one spade. Two diamonds. Okay, so we've covered all our minimum hands. One no trump, 12 to 14 points after diamond, spade. Okay. Diamond, spade, two diamonds. I really have diamonds. I tend to have six. Diamond, spade, two spades. I like your spades. Got a minimum hand. And diamond, spade, two clubs. I really have diamonds, and I have at least four clubs. And I could be minimum, could be invitation. Now, are you ready for the problem, child? Of course. Because they come up. Go. This hand is not easy to bid. And I got, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a story while I put this hand up. I was playing against a woman, that um, a student, and the auction went one diamond, pass one spade, pass. And she thought for a long time. And I looked at her and I said, you probably have a singleton spade, four hearts, five diamonds, three clubs, and a minimum hand. And she looked at me, her eyes got really big. She said, Dad, how in the world, how in the world did you know that? Because that's the only hand you're going to have that's really going to give you a problem. Okay, because y'all know what these bids look like. Okay, so I've got this hand. It's a minimum hand, 13 points. So what, what am I limited to? I've got to pick one of these four bids. 
No trump, two clubs, two diamonds, or two spades that best describes this hand. Okay? Two spades would be silly. Two clubs would be silly-ish. We'll just go with silly. One no trump would be, it would be right on values. Okay? Diamond, spade, no trump. And diamond, spade, two diamonds, both describe the same values, 12 to 14 points or so. Could have up to a 15 count for diamond, spade, two diamonds. Okay? So both of those bids will be right on values. Personally, I'm going to bid my balanced hands like they're balanced and my unbalanced hands like they're unbalanced. So with this hand, I've got a singleton. I'm not going to bid a no trump. Okay? And all that's left that makes sense is two diamonds. This is the only time I'm going to tend to rebid a five card diamond suit. Okay? Is if I have a four card heart suit and I have a minimum hand. Any other time my uh, diamond spade, two diamond, I'm going to have six of them. Okay? Sure. Okay. okay. This is a problem hand. I know people who have been a no trump with this hand. I know people who have been two diamonds with this hand. Personally, I'm a two diamond bidder. I can appreciate that one no trump might work out better on some occasions. And why are you bidding your hearts? Why am I not bidding my hearts? That is a great question. I will pay you later for that. Why am I not bidding my hearts? Because I'm a minimum. Okay? I only have four bids I can make with a minimum. I can't go, I'm going to consider two <coughs> diamonds to be a barrier. I can't go past two diamonds unless I'm raising your suit, unless I have a bigger hand. Okay? And I, my hand isn't big enough to mention my four card heart suit. Now, how many of y'all think that y'all are going to be my first advanced class that I've ever taught? Sure. Any, oh, absolutely, this is us. We are your first advanced class. I'm going to throw something out called a reverse. A reverse. Okay. Ordinarily, I got two five card suits. I always open my higher ranking one, then rebid my lower ranking one. Right. So I'm going to make a change. Now, before I talk about this, let's do some review. I open a diamond, my partner bids a spade. Does my partner tend to have four hearts? No, because if he had four hearts and four spades, his first bid would have been one heart. Okay? Has my partner promised me more than six points? No. So, I'm going to give you a puzzle. And you need to, you need to think about this before you answer. We do not have a fit. We do not have more than half the points in the deck. Where do we want to play this hand? Say it again. We do not have a fit. We do not have more than half the high cards, <coughs> half, half the high points in the deck. Where do we want to play the hand? As low as possible. Okay? As low as possible. So if I've got a rotten hand, I need to make a bid that slows the auction down. That's why I'm limiting myself to not going past two of the suit that I open unless I raise your suit. So, if I go past two of the suit that I open to bid a new suit such as two hearts, I've got to have a mental, I've got to have at least an invitational hand. Okay, it's called a reverse. It promises 
more cards in my lower ranking suit than my higher ranking suit? Promises at least an invitational hand because you haven't promised me more than a six count for your bid. And it says, don't pass on this bid. Okay, you owe me another bid. What, yes, ma'am. What does, what does reverse mean in the situation? Uh, it, it's just, I think the reason I call it reverse is because I'm reversing the usual order of the bids that I make. Usually I'm going to open my higher ranking suit and come back in my lower ranking suit. If I reverse those two, then it's called a reverse. And if that's not the etymology of it, then I apologize. That's just the way I learned it. Um, so diamond, spade, two hearts. Okay. I've got more diamonds than hearts. I've got at least an invitational hand. And I don't want to hear you pass on this round. Can I take a break? As luck would have it, I can take a break. I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> so we're going to take a little break. Be right back. <laughs> Drink them if you got them. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the scene where Forrest is up making a speech to the on the mall in Washington, and a, a fellow from the military pulls out all the wires, and Forrest is talking, and you can't hear what he says, and somebody furiously starts putting the wires back, and he gets them all back, and Forrest says, and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to Forrest Gump you. That's, I, I wanted to introduce you to the term reverse. Okay, I've got more cards in my lower ranking suit than my higher ranking suit. I've got at least an invitational hand. Don't pass. Okay, so if you do this, if you make a bid outside of your four, I've got a minimum hand bid, you're showing extra value. Okay. Just be cognizant of that. Does that make some sense? 
What if your partner only had the six points? What's he supposed to do? Not pass. Still not pass. Still not pass. Because when I say not pass, you know what I really mean? Not pass. I really mean don't pass because, and I said when I'm going to force gump you. I can also have this. I've got a full throated, I want to be in game off of any piece of grudge you've got. Okay, so don't pass. That's still a good description of the hand. Diamond, spade, two hearts. I've got more diamonds than hearts. Okay, I've got at least an invitational hand. I don't want to hear you pass. Um, all roads may lead to three no trump, but if my partner really has a diamond fit, six diamonds could be possible on this hand. All right. There are a couple bids up here that we haven't talked about yet. Actually, when I say that, not that many. Diamond, spade, two, no trump. We've, brought, we've touched on this. Partner, I don't have four spades with you. I was too big to open one no, not big enough to open two no. I've got 18 to 19 points. Okay, now there is one, and when I say, and conceptually a way to remember this, I can bid no trump cheaply, rebid my suit cheaply, or raise your suit cheaply with a minimum hand. If I jump in no trump, jump in your suit, or jump in my suit, I'm showing an invitational hand. This is all for response. This is not for opening. This is a, I've opened the I've opened the auction. You've responded. I'm now trying to describe my hand. Okay. No trump cheaply, raising your suit, rebidding or raising your suit cheaply, rebidding my suit cheaply. I've got a minimum every single time. Jumping in no trump, jumping in your suit, jumping in my suit. I've got an invitational hand all the time. And when somebody, when I'm making an invitation to you, what I'm saying is, partner, you promised me something. Okay, the something you promised me with your one spade bid is four spades and six points. Okay, and I'm inviting you to game if you have a little bit more than that. If that's all you got, I don't want to be in game. Because if I want to be a game opposite six points, or yeah, six points and four spades, I've got a bid to tell you that. Now, one diamond, one spade, three diamonds, or excuse me, one diamond, one spade, two diamonds, I could have a problem hand. Okay, I could have that five card diamond suit where no other good bid fits. If it goes diamond, spade, three diamonds, I absolutely positively have six of them. Okay? I'm going to have some pictures looking back at me in a good, in a good world. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's a bionic hand. Yes, it's a bionic hand. Thank you. So something like this. Diamond, spade. Three diamonds. I'm invitational. I got six diamonds. I'm unbalanced. How do you know I'm unbalanced, by the way? I didn't bid no trump. Do I have a good way to show balanced hands? Yes, and they all involve bidding no trump. So if I've got a 17 count and no trumpy, I just open a no trump. 18 or 19, I'm rebidding two no trump. Okay, so diamond. Spade, three diamonds. By definition, I'm unbalanced. Okay, void or singleton somewhere. Maybe two doubletons if I'm not opening a no trump on two doubletons, which is something that I would not recommend today. I may recommend it about three weeks from now. But for now, you got two doubletons. You can treat that as an unbalanced hand unless you don't want to. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so three diamonds, absolutely positively got six of them. Now, 
The one other hand we really haven't talked about is three spades. I have a nice inference available to me when my partner bids three spades. Okay, diamond spade, three spades. Does that sound invitational? Yeah. What's the invitational range? 16 to 18. 16 to 18. Now, if my partner had a balanced 16 or 17 count, what would he have done? He would have opened a no trump, and he didn't. He opened a diamond. So if it goes diamond spade, three spades, my partner either has an unbalanced hand with diamonds and spades, or he has a balanced 18 count. Either one of those might get me excited. Okay, Diamond, spade, three spades. My partner doesn't have a balanced 16 to 17 count. So he's either a balanced 18 count, or he's got an unbalanced hand that really has diamonds and really has spades. So something that might look like this. Okay, how many high card points? I got 16 count to singleton. Okay, so on the diamond spade, I'm bidding three spades with this. Turn this into the queen of hearts, and I still might be bidding three spades. Turn this into the ten of hearts. How many high card points? Thirteen. I got a singleton. Is this minimum, minimum or invitational? Minimum. Yeah, it looks and smells minimum. It's the, it's the upper range of minimum, but it's probably still a minimum hand that I would bid two spades. Yes, ma'am. When do I count singletons and doubletons? I count singletons and doubletons only after I find out we have a fit. Because in my world, when I have a singleton or a doubleton, that singleton or doubleton is in my partner suit. And actually, I'm gonna add to that, okay? There's a good way to learn how to play this game. Does anyone know what it is? Play. Playing this game. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking in about 10 minutes, and I'm going to give you an, a, 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 yes, thank you. an opportunity to demonstrate your understanding on the topic of the day. You're not the only ones that are confused. That's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? So just <coughs> hang in there. You'll be fine. Thank Honestly. you, Paul. All right. Now, any question about anything we got up here? <laughs> well, if not, <laughs> I'm going to see whether you were paying attention or not. <laughs> Partners opened one diamond and you have this. This fine bridge hand. How many high card points? Six. Do you owe your partner a bid? Yes. And your bid should be one spade. Okay, I've got a four card spade suit. We're trying to find an eight card fit. Now, one diamond pass, one no trump would limit my hand six to ten points. One diamond pass, one spade doesn't limit my hand, but I still want to find an eight card major suit fit. So even though I only have a six count, I'm going to bid a spade. Okay? 
Um, next person passes, my partner bids two clubs, and the next person passes, and now it's my bid with my six count. Okay, so it's gone diamond, spade, two clubs. Do we have enough points for game? No. No. How do I know? Okay, because my partner... You want me to set it up in separate sections for how many hands? If you're going to use, if you're going to use the bridge maker. Um, let's go with two rounds, two hands. Maybe three rounds, two hands. All right. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. So, so we don't have enough points for game. And we know this because if my partner wanted to be in game ops at any six-point piece of crud, he would have done something else. Okay, so he's bid two clubs. Do I have a good way to describe this hand to my partner? Pass. <laughs> Four clubs. No. Um, fold. I said fold. Fold. Yes. Sorry. New term. All right. Yeah. My partner has denied having a game forcing hand. Okay. So I am allowed as responder to pass if we're in a good. Spot, and I know we don't have game. Okay, so here I've got a six count. I am allowed to pass. Does that make some sense? No, my partner's been two clubs, so he really has diamonds and he really has clubs. Okay, so we're in two clubs, and if they if the opponents come into the auction. I may take another bid if I feel like it, but pass is a reasonably good description of this hand. But that's to keep it a minimum contract. Yep. If we don't have a game contract, then I want to play it as low as possible. Now, I'm going to make a change. No, wait. I'm not going to make a change. No, wait. No, wait. Yes, ma'am. What clubs do you have to have to say two clubs? Oh, I didn't no, say two clubs. You mean to pass? No, I knew. No, yeah, I meant. He has to have yeah, four. He has He's guaranteeing four. a four card club suit. You have to have what? You were probably the only one. He has to have four. Yeah, I, I'm going to tend to have four to pass. Okay? Now, yes, ma'am. Why do I know that it's in the wizard? Uh, because he didn't go past two of the suits that he bid. <laughs> He, he did. The, I can make any bid through two of the suit that I open as opener and not and have a minimum. Okay, so he can make any bid through two diamonds, any one of these four bids, and have a minimum. Even if he has an invitational hand, am I accepting invitations with this six count? No. No, because I just have what I promised. Now, I'm going to make one more change. No, 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 no. How many high card points? I've got a six count. Do I have a minimum hand? I do. Okay. So, uh, so it's gone diamond, spade, two clubs. With this hand, what do I bid? Two diamonds. Okay. I'm going to take my partner back to his first suit. Okay. If I'm, to, if I'm bidding any suit that's been bid before cheaply, I'm not promising more than a minimum. So if I bid two diamonds with this hand, okay, I'm not saying I have a good hand. I'm not saying I've got a hand that's worth two bids. Okay, what I'm saying is diamonds is a good spot. I've got six to ten points over here for you. So unless you have an invitational hand, your next bid should be pass. All right. Now, one more thing. If I bid a suit at the two level, I'm showing a minimum hand. So one more. I'm going to beef this up a little because I like y'all.
Okay. Diamond, with this hand you bid one spade. Your partner bids two clubs. Your next bid is two spades. Do you have a good hand? No. I got six spades. So, partner, I don't have a good hand. I've got six spades. Let's play spades. How many spades do I want to play? Two. Unless you have an invitational hand. If you do, keep bidding. But otherwise, I'm showing you a minimum hand. I just want to hear you pass. Does that make some sense? Any questions? All right.